so hello guys today i'm going to be making some shakshusha so i started by frying up onions and then i added the tomatoes so just want to add a bit of oil to the pan then you will add your tomatoes then, then after that i added some chili if you don't want it to be too hot don't can omit the chili then a bit of dania you leave a bit of garnier for i left a bit of garnier for later garnishing but you don't have to do that you can add it before or after it's cooked yeah then salt and any other spice that you want i used paprika only yeah so after that you want to mix everything add a bit of water then cover it for five minutes until the sauce is finely cooked Yes, yeah, so after five minutes, that's how my sauce looks. It is nicely cooked and a low heat. Yeah, so that's the sweet potato that I'm going to be having with the shakshisha. Yeah, so once the sauce is nicely done, give it some time so that it can cook properly and you get the right sauce. You can use blended tomatoes, but I just used all tomatoes yes yeah, so after a few more minutes of simmering and simmering i just went ahead and created a hole like that a space then you want to add whole eggs don't whisk it just add it whole for the shakshusha purpose but if you want cooking the regular eggs, you can just whisk it, no problem. Yeah, so once I created that tiny hole, I added the, my two eggs. You can add the, whichever number you want. Yeah, so that's how it looks after cooking. And it was so, so yummy with the sweet potatoes. Definitely, I'll try it again. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and look at how it turned out and 